<laughs> oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. My practice sword is getting worn. I need a new one for my morning exercise. How about it? Now this takes me back to my younger days, when I was receiving my first sword. Great work. Very balanced. Hey, young one. We got a problem with our game room. The electric box outside seems to have gone kaput. You think you can fix this one up for me? Tis the season to be jolly. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you for fixing the electric box. Now my game room can keep on running again. That won't be necessary. It's no surprise Huss and Tuss were behind all this, but when Remington and I arrived, they were here, tied up and ready to be taken away. All that was missing was a little pink bow. They said they were attacked by a masked man with a sword who was incredibly skilled. Remington has already sent them back to the Civil Corps. The only thing resembling a clue we found at the scene was... a spatula. My spatula, how did you get it? Eh, you know, some mysteries are better left unsolved. A hero? Nah. I was simply feeling a bit nostalgic for my old days, is it not? In any case, I think it'd be best we kept this between you and me. Heroes attract villains. Thanks a bunch. Shining Apple? <laughs> a little old to be believing in fairy tales now, aren't we? I found a power stone in an apple after beating that foul pig-nosed owl the other day. Perhaps that was your Shining Apple. Getting your take on menu ideas really helps get the creative juices flowing. Thanks for always giving your honest opinion. I'm used to listening to everyone's woes and trying to help. But there's not a lot of them that will listen to me like you two. Thank you for that. If you ever need advice, you can always come here. I promise to always have an open ear and a plate of food for you. <laughs> Howdy! I've got an important commission for you today. I can't think of anyone else that can complete this work other than you. Well, uh, I've accumulated enough fortune to start the burger shop that I've always wanted. It has always been my dream. And my special pepperific beef burger is sure to be the best ever. Want to know why that's my dream? Because no one else sells burgers here in Portia, and I'm about to monopolize the market. <laughs> am I clever or am I brilliant? I only need one more thing to get this thing on the horse. I need to build an eye-catching stall. I've already got someone from Walnut Groove to design something two years ago. Paid good money for it. Now it's time to set it up. Oh, I'm so relieved that I can finally show this to someone. <sighs> I hope you keep it a secret for now. Who knows if Django will catch wind of this idea and preempt me. Oh, my. I feel like crying. <laughs> I just cannot wait to start my business. Uh, but first things first, I need to let everyone know about it. Here, I've got some posters for my burger business. Can you help me put them up in town? Uh, remember to put one up at the entrance of Django's restaurant. <laughs> uh, now, I must be off to prepare for the opening ceremony tomorrow. Times are good. Look who's here! I went to town this morning and found all my posters still there. I was worried Django would take them all off. Thank you so much! Here you go! Have a taste of my burgers! My friend, 
I really need your help right now. For some reason, I've been losing a lot of business lately, and I just don't know why. I need to figure out how customers see my burgers, but I'm afraid they're too nice to tell me the whole truth. So can you help me out? I owe you one. Uh, by the way, remember to ask Django. I know for sure that Sonya girl brought him one. Oh yes, I've tried that beef burger. The taste was not so good. It's such a waste of food. It's not easy to cater to all the different appetites. I'd say it's even harder than mastering the sword. I welcome McDonald to study a bit at my restaurant. Howdy! How's everyone's opinion? What about Martha? I knew it! Just like her to say that! I've tasted a lot of the bread from her place. They're all too soft. What did Mars say? Not weird to hear that. He can never be satisfied with the size. How about Django? Well, never! He must be scheming to steal my recipe! Thanks for going through all the trouble. It's really difficult to satisfy everyone's taste. <sighs> I'll think about it. Master Django, after you helped me on the recipe, I added sesame to the sauce and removed some sweetness. It turned out to be so perfect! I'm also developing a new type of burger as well. Just like what you said before, people can be so fickle, and only freshness can bring them new excitement. Cheers for your business. Django is my teacher now, and he's a real master. I was too narrow-minded before. I hope you won't tell him about it, though. Ha <laughs> ha! With the help of my teacher, my business can only get better and better. <laughs> so glad you could come here today. Thank you for your help. Again, with everything you all have done for me, it's the least I can do. In any case, it's always been my life's goal to help others, whether I do it as a nod or as a cook. Giving up the old life was hard. It saddened me to have to give up witnessing firsthand how I'd help people. But seeing the smiles on people's faces as I perfected a new dish made me feel just as alive. Finally, I can say I'm happy to have given up that life. I love what I have now. Living out here peacefully, making people happy with my restaurant is all I really needed. But if anyone ever messes with Portia, best believe I'm ready to come out of retirement. Well, hey, I, I'm not sure what to say. Am I truly the person you want by your side? I must admit I feel the same way. I hope you'll let me convey these feelings to you more openly. There's a lot of things people don't know about me. You know that I used to be a knight? Unexpected, right? <laughs> Knighthood and all that entails are my first passion. Cooking is my other. Serving people and making them happy is the meaning of my life. I've been to Barnarok. Can't say I enjoyed that place very much, sorry. It used to be a place to be envied. Can't believe how far it's fallen. I've traveled everywhere and I must say I like Porsche the best. Ethi is a little too intense, Duvos is too stuck up, Cissé is way too many people, and Adara takes itself way too seriously. <laughs> As a former knight, I'm interested in any type of sword. On guard! A knight must have the best set of shoes. No one wants to walk about in worn down shoes. I enjoy a well-made bronze sword. They're very hard to craft because you have to have the right balance of materials. Cissé has got lots of nice stuff. Jade, silk, hot pot, things of that nature. I was there some 10, 15 years ago visiting a friend. The hot springs there are terrific. Not training doesn't teach you anything about falling in love. 
Not sure where to go from here. Guess you'll have to teach me, oh great master. <laughs> Every time I hear your voice, I can't help but smile. People must think I look like a loon, but I don't want this feeling to go away. I find myself feeling disappointed if I don't see you at least once a day. So stop by the restaurant a lot, okay? Darling, I've just read a book. There's a line that really speaks to me. A noble knight's burden is a curse of loneliness. To silently give while expecting nothing in return. Those who see the lone knight see a man surrounded by a hard shell of cold armor. And yet, they are unable to imagine the tenderness that lies beneath. Isn't that beautiful? You have good taste, darling. What you just heard was an excerpt from The Last Dawn, a true classic. It details the inner philosophy of how a knot should be, and how to deal with the average citizen being unable to comprehend our struggle. Now that I've broken the ice with a poem, let's get down to business. Have you noticed that Sophie's scarecrows in her farm were blown down by the wind? As a knot, it is my duty, nay, my destiny, to protect the fallen. But actually, I don't really know how to repair a scarecrow. So will you help me? Excellent. Behind a lone knight, there is always a wily and steadfast squire. In this case, you! I think we just need some hardwood planks, cotton, and worn furs. Come back to me when you've got everything. Well done, darling. I think we can do it tomorrow. Our quest begins 9 p.m. at the gate tomorrow night. See you then. You take point. You finished? So soon? Let me have a look. Well, it looks nice, but I think we can decorate it to make it look better. What do you think fits it best, darling? Nice. Like flowers. But wild. Just like a knot's unbridled spirit. That looks perfect. I'm so glad to have you here, darling. The only thing left to do now is to gaze longingly at the stars above. What's in her mind, darling? Do I have a place in your future? I'm so happy to hear that, darling. I must admit, every time I look at you, I think about our future and what it could be. As I look up at the stars, I feel a sense of calm, but also a sense of duty. They stare back at me countless like the faces of the people I've sworn to protect. Seeing them reminds me that I must be better. Always better. And that's how I feel when I look at you too. Words cannot express how thankful I am to have met you. The lone knight is alone no more. Someone's coming. What? One of ours? Didn't look like it. That must be the thief. Did he follow us here? A lucky day. <laughs> Not so sneaky now, are you? Who are you? You followed us here, didn't you? Not too far, Smiley. We designed this to hold a rhino, so this thief will be in here for a while. We'll have ample time to ask him questions. For now, I want to see who's under that mask. Are you done? What? Clever setting up a trap like this. That's right. But you made one mistake. We're not dealing with a simple thief here, people. He's a knight! That must be my lucky day. I've always wanted to fight a knight. Cut it out, Arlo. Spread out. We'll take him together. Well, I've had enough fun. I must bid you all farewell. Oh, no, you don't. Insist. Good day. So that was a night. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, nice to see you. I'm wondering, you fought that knight. What was he like? Oh, was he now? Most knights these days use some type of relic. It's like their calling card. The real knights, though, they don't need these corrupted things. Didn't you have knots in Barnarok? Anyway, if you're looking for a history lesson, it's best you talk with Isaac. But knots are highly skilled warriors that defend the weak and balance the strong. Or, that's how it's supposed to be. But, nowadays... We're getting off topic. I'm thinking of trying to find this knot and have a talk with him. That's right, I can't sleep well knowing a do-bad knight is in the neighborhood. Gives me a bad name. Ever since the Council Guard showed up, our civil corpse members have become errand lads for the captain. I know Remington and that Ryder fellow have been going around searching for that knight, but I think they're in the mood for talking it out. Without a fire, there's only water in a pot. I think the same thing could be said about knights. Without justice and compassion, there's only a man waving a sword. <laughs> Why do you keep fighting me? You're no match for me. Welcome to the real world, then. The strong always eat the weak. Well said, young builder. Django? Uncle Django? Who are you? It's not honorable to ask for a name before given one. So useless. Do knots nowadays depend so much on ancient gadgets? So undisciplined. You're a failure of a knot. <laughs> the lightning fist? You're the storm knight. Do you want any more lessons today? <laughs> No, I can't win against fools. You're letting him go? Yes, I think he's learned his lesson. He'll probably never show his face in Porsche again. What a mess. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice of you to join me here tonight. I would like to take a moment to put the spotlight on an exceptional member of our community and all-around good friend. Django. He decided long ago to take off his knight's armor, but he never once gave up his knight spirit. His service to the town has been an inspiration to us all. On behalf of everyone in Portia, I hereby express our highest gratitude. As a monument to his devotion, we've decided to build a dojo in his honor. Though Portia is safe for the time being, it's impossible to know where trouble may once again rear its ugly head. We must hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Therefore, I've also requested that Django teach a class on self-defense, open to the public, that is, just as soon as the dojo's ready. For now, I'll ask our builders to check the Commerce Guild for Dojo-related commissions. Your contributions are appreciated as always. Once the dojo is built, I'll send out information regarding the class via mail. Good evening to you all. Aha! Well, I'm very flattered. Hmm. My very own dojo. What shall I call it? Thanks to everyone for your attendance. I prepared a lesson that I think everyone will find practical and useful. The stuff you learn here could save your life one day, so listen up. The sword represents our raging heart, while the shield is our steadfast soul. When the two work together, it creates a balance of perfect harmony. Let your heart rage, but allow your soul to contain that flame. Focus your mind as your enemy moves to attack. Use your harmony to find the imbalance in their attack. Then, counter it! Being committed to defense does not mean one cannot also attack, and by the same token, mounting an attack does not mean defense should be abandoned. Only by finding balance between the two can one truly become unbeatable. Next, allow me to show you how to protect yourself from sneak attacks. To be honest, 
I wanted to be that one to propose to you, so allow me that much. <clears throat> I love you, and I cannot fathom a Portia without you. Will you do this not the honor of marrying him? By the power given to me by the Holy Spirit, I hereby pronounce you united under the everlasting sun. Darling, want to go for a walk with me? Darling, even though we're married, I'd still love to spar with you from time to time, just to keep us from getting rusty. <laughs> Darling, if you ever feel insecure about anything, just know that I'll always be here for you, no matter what happens. We can accomplish so much together. Darling, being able to watch you enjoy my cooking every day fills me with such bliss. I better not overdo it, or else you'll blame me for making you fat. <laughs> Darling, it's such a nice day. How about we have a picnic on Amber Island as a family? I'll go and pick out the best location. Bring our baby along. <laughs> 